Hi guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergen. I am an endocrinologist and a diabetes expert and a diabetes education specialist. Now, a lot of my patients are having trouble with potato. And today, I'm gonna give you a few tips. Let's get started. So guys, potato is a weakness, especially french fries. It's a big, big problem, right? So we all go through this. When the waitress comes to you and says, hey, what would you like on the side? Would you like vegetables and french fries or whatever? And then you kind of give a pause and says, um, you know what? What the heck, I'm outside. Let me just get the french fries. Well, not the best decision, right? So sometimes once you start making good decisions, you start making better decisions but then after a while you're like you know what everybody's eating french fries and i'm not eating anything i'm just eating vegetables what's going on here i'm gonna go with the flow but because sometimes you do not really have options you know going outside is a problem because they don't give you a lot of options so in this case you know you're on your own you have to make your best decision but when you're home, you can still make some good decisions. Now, a lot of people still cook potatoes at home and then they just don't know anything else, right? So when I tell people, hey, have you tried parsnip? Uh, and a lot of people are like, what is parsnip? Well, parsnip, it actually looks like a white carrot when you go try to buy it on the store. So don't, you know, make sure you know what you're looking for, or at least Google it before you go. But the bottom line is parsnips kind of taste like potatoes and uh, half the calories of potatoes. The glycemic index is very low, and like, you know, let's say around glycemic index, I believe parsnip is 55, versus potato is like 110. Now, some people ask about the sweet potato, uh, which is a little bit better, but still the glycemic index is up there, I believe 80 or 85, versus parsnip is down to 50, 55. Now, as you know, glycemic index is a measurement of relative value of how fast your blood sugar spikes. It ranges from 0 to 100. Uh, anything 55 or below is considered okay. Anything above that, uh, you know, is not good. And especially if you're getting close to 100 range, like which happens with rice and potato, for example, then you're really in trouble because your blood sugar will spike very fast. And even if you take insulin, you may not be able to catch up with that blood sugar spike. So parsnips are great. I mean, you can actually uh, boil the parsnip and or you can even fry the parsnip if you're really dying for a french fries type of thing. You can actually do that at home. Not that, you know, you should do that frequently, but I think it is a good option for you to consider. Again, you know, parsnips are high in folic acid. It is high in L fiber, so it makes you feel full and keep you full. So if you're eating potatoes because you don't feel full without eating potatoes, try parsnips. I think the parsnips will be a very good alternative. Now, just because parsnips are better, that doesn't give you the freedom to just fill your whole plate with par uh, mashed parsnips. That's not what I'm saying here. You still have to be cautious and concerned about your portion size. But I think uh, instead of potatoes, you can graduate to parsnips and I think you will like it. Uh, you can look for different recipes and just make it to your liking, to your taste. And give it a try, guys. I think if you're a potato guy, or especially if you're a couch and potato guy, if you're not physically very active, that's definitely going to help your blood sugars. Give me comments. Write what happens when you change from potato to parsnip. We want to hear from you guys as well. You know, I don't want to just give dry advice here. I want you to be part of the community, share your experience. If you don't like potatoes or parsnip, that's okay. You know, you don't have to do anything. But if you're one of those people who love potatoes and want to try parsnip please give us your feedback now by the way guys we are going to start a campaign uh, with you guys and i'm hoping that you can help me with this uh, we are in the constant development of our supplement uh, our current supplement is in the market on amazon if you didn't check it go to our website and the link will take you to the uh, the Amazon. But if you can help us, if you are using our supplement, of course, give us a review on Amazon. That will we will greatly appreciate that. Um, and then if you have any questions or concerns, you can always email us at ask at sugarmds.com about the supplements, etc. We do not answer medical questions because that goes above and beyond uh, our legal limitations, so that you can. Um, understand if we are not replying to the medical questions we are not ignoring you 
Um, thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next video.